Hello audience, my name is Mary. Mary wish you happiness and prosperity. Editor Mary would like to welcome you for visiting my channel and here is the official news. Follow up. One, Travis Kelsey reveals whether Taylor Swift will be at the next Chiefs game. What he wants for his birthday Travis Kelsey celebrated his 35th birthday at the second annual Kelsey Car Jam charity event in Kansas City, where he expressed his birthday wish for another Super Bowl victory. He also mentioned that his girlfriend, Taylor Swift, plans to attend the upcoming Chiefs game against the Saints. The charity event aims to raise funds for various causes. 2. Keanu Reeves spins out. Nearly crashes during Pro Auto Racing debut at Indianapolis Motor Speedway Keanu Reeves experienced a near crash during his professional auto racing debut at the Toyota GR Cup Series race at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. On the ninth lap, the 60-year-old actor lost control of his Toyota swerving off the track and onto the grass, narrowly avoiding a collision with another vehicle. 3. Justin Bieber seen looking somber as he tries to distance himself from Sean, Diddy. Combs rumors Justin Bieber was spotted in Los Angeles on Friday night looking somber as he left the Chateau Marmont. The 30-year-old pop star, dressed in a white hoodie and a patterned scarf, appeared deep in thought while driving. His downcast demeanor comes amid ongoing controversy surrounding Sean, Diddy, Combs' sex crime scandal, which has implicated Bieber's name. 4. Britney Spears' deadbeat boyfriend, Paul Solis, takes three of his kids to live at pop star's house, his mother-in-law claims Britney Spears' boyfriend, Paul Solis, has reportedly moved three of his children from his marriage to Nicole Moncia into Spears' home according to Moncia's mother, Sandra Smith. Smith stated during an interview that they are trying to get the children back. Solis, who is 38, is currently in the process of divorce from Moncia after eight years of marriage and has a total of five children with her. 5. Tupac crime scene investigator thinks Sean Diddy Combs is connected to rapper's 1996 murder crime scene investigator Cheryl McCollum believes Sean Diddy Combs is connected to Tupac Shakur's 1996 murder and his 1994 shooting. McCollum, who worked on Shakur's 1996 case, noted that the 1994 shooting occurred during a robbery at Quad Studios in New York City where Combs was present with a large entourage. She questioned why Shakur was the only one targeted in the incident, suggesting a possible link to Combs. 6. Brittany Cartwright savagely reacts to Jax Taylor's claim they weren't legally married Brittany Cartwright has responded to her estranged husband, Jax Taylor, who claimed in court documents that they were not legally married. In an Instagram comment, Cartwright asserted, We are legally married and suggested that completing paperwork might be challenging for some. The couple, known from Vanderpump Rules, got married in 2019. 7. Thomas Matthew Crook's father was profiled by Donald Trump campaign. Family had MAGA yard sign. Thomas Matthew Crooks, who attempted to assassinate Donald Trump, is the son of Matthew Brian Crooks. A man identified by Trump's 2016 campaign as a key swing state voter likely to respond to pro-gun messaging. The campaign analyzed data from 6.7 million people in Pennsylvania to target voters. Matthew Brian Crooks legally purchased the AR-15 used in the attack, 
which occurred in Butler, PA, where Trump was grazed by a bullet. Neighbors noted that the Crooks family had displayed MAGA decorations until recently. 8. The View's Sonny Hostin says Melania Trump is doing a damn good job at trying to take out Donald Trump. She does not want to be the first lady. Sonny Hostin shared her views on Donald and Melania Trump's relationship during a recent episode of The View. She suggested that Melania may be trying to undermine Donald's presidential campaign by advocating for reproductive rights, which contrasts with his stance on overturning Roe v. Wade. Hostin expressed her belief that Melania dislikes Donald and is eager to step away from her role as First Lady. Citing her actions like destroying the Rose Garden and her apparent disdain for Christmas decorations as evidence of her discontent. 9. Dave Grohl's wife, Jordan Bloom, doesn't trust him after he welcomed baby outside their marriage. Dave Grohl is trying to regain the trust of his wife, Jordan Bloom, after revealing that he had a baby outside their marriage. According to a source, Jordan is struggling and is currently focused on her own well-being rather than their marriage. She does not trust Dave and has stopped wearing her wedding ring. Relying on support from her friends during this difficult time. 10. Aubrey O'Day implies Elon Musk's friends knew about Sean, Diddy, Combs allegedly abusing nine-year-old Aubrey O'Day suggested that Elon Musk's friends were aware of Sean, Diddy, Combs' alleged sexual Abuse of a nine-year-old boy. Musk shared an article about the accusations on his social media platform, X, questioning how many in the music and entertainment industry knew about the situation. O'Day responded by encouraging Musk to ask his friends for information, implying they might have knowledge of the allegations.